Right, thank you so much for staying with us. Time now for To The Point. And like I told you, our explainer today is on TikTok usage and regulations, okay? So let's take a look at um, the usage of TikTok. So TikTok is the fastest growing um, app on social media. Globally, it has 44% users that are active, those, are, those that are engaged on the platform, and its popularity is particularly prominent among the 18 to 24 age group. Now, this is according to the Reuters Institute Digital News Report of 2023. Um, let's take a look still on its usage here in Kenya for status. Um, uh, let's take a look at some of the countries and this will interest you because Kenya is the global leader in TikTok usage. Again, this is according to the Reuters Institute Digital Re News Report of 2023. Now, the East African nation accounts for 54% of TikTok usage worldwide. That's for various purposes. 29% rely on it for news consumption. And Thailand, Thailand comes in second, okay, because 51% of its population engage for various purposes, while 30% rely on it for news consumption. And then we come back to the African continent, the third on the list being South Africa, which holds the third spot. 50% engage for general content, while 22% use it as a source of news. Our discussion today is on the ban for TikTok or the regulation for TikTok. So let's first take a look at countries that have issued a complete ban on the app. First up is Afghanistan. Now, the Taliban banned TikTok in Afghanistan in April 2022, saying that the platform's content was not consistent with Islamic laws. This is according to Bloomberg. Next is India, which in 2020, India implemented a nationwide ban on TikTok and 58 other Chinese apps for engaging in activities which is preju prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, security of state, and public order. And the latest, the last and latest is Somalia, which in August 2023 banned TikTok over concerns of terror-related content. Now, the government said terrorist groups are using the platform, uh, platforms like TikTok and Telegram to spread horrific images and misinformation to the public. Now, those are some of the countries that have issued a complete ban on TikTok, but others went for a partial ban. This means they have, for instance, banned the app from all federal government-owned devices work phones of government officials, and so on. Some of them, Australia, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Netherlands, New Zealand, and Norway. All right, let's um, go back to the ban or uh, remain on the ban and come back home to Kenya. So the Kenyan parliament on August 15th received a petition from Mr. Bob Ndolo. He is the CEO of Bridget uh, Connect Consultancy. He's with us in studio. We'll engage him. He re the parliament received a petition to ban TikTok in Kenya, citing among other issues that the content that is being shared on the platform is inappropriate, thus promoting violence, explicit, explicit sexual content, hate speech, vulgar language, and offensive behavior, which is a serious threat to the cultural and religious views of Kenya. And we have him in studio tonight like I told you he shall be telling us more about this petition lastly there has been a development because um, President William Ruto has since met um, uh, the app CEO, that is Mr. Shu Zi Chu, and they came up, they had an agreement, which part of it is to reduce a negative content on the social media platform and maximize on the monetization aspect. Now, the development to that, again, is that the two talked, like I mentioned earlier, and now TikTok will work together with Kenya to review and monitor content on the app. Shu committed to ensure content is moderated to fit community standards. He also agreed to set up a Kenyan office to coordinate its operations in the continent. And lastly, he pledged to hire more Kenyans to work for the platform. That should be good news, right? So that's all we had on To The Point tonight. Time now for our conversation.